Welcome to your inspirational astrology horoscope for Thursday, August 28th, 2014. I'm astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Well, I love August 28th. That is because it is my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, mom. I love you from the bottom of my heart. I thank you so much for all of your support, and I truly wouldn't be here without you. So thank you so much, mom. I love you very much. And Tomorrow is the big September 2014 webinar. I'm really excited about this one, Harvesting Your Matrix. Two hours going deep into the whole month of September. Pluto coming direct, which is one of my favorite transits. This is definitely an exciting time to talk about. And this is two hours where you can hang out with me, live on chat, going over it all as I go over the PowerPoint presentation. Don't miss the registration link. It's at my website, inclusiveastrology.com. And today, we've got the moon still in Libra. We've got the sun in Virgo. and there's a lot of aspects happening to both. Who should we start with first? Let's start with the moon. The moon in Libra, which wants to chill, feel great, harmony, balance, relationships, partnerships, connections. Gonna make a square to Pluto first in Capricorn, which is Pluto, the intense planet, right? And it's also dealing with change and, and you know, I'll be honest with you, depth in Capricorn. This is our purpose. This is our long-term goals. This is our ambitions in our life. And here's the moon looking at our connections, looking at harmony. This is one of those days where, you know what? If you're not into doing your work, find a way to find happiness and balance and harmony in your work, you know? This could be a complication where the moon just wants to feel chill and be sunsets and Mai Tais on the beach, but you know what? There's a purpose we're working on. on top of that, the moon is gonna oppose Uranus and Aries, which is about this willpower and taking action and moving forward into things in our life. Libra is where you definitely don't move all the way. You balance, you weigh it out, you take your time. So this is kind of the intensity of emotionally today, there will be tests to find harmony in taking action, to find harmony in your purpose. You know, I feel that with astrology, no matter how much a crazy aspect is happening, there's always a beautiful spiritual lesson. And right now, the lesson in, especially today, is you can find peace in any place in your life, whether it's in taking action or doing some bold moves or making sure that you're aligned in your purpose. Doesn't mean that even though there might be extreme amount of energy that you can't remain chill or you can't find harmony in that. So I think that's part of the lesson today. On top of that, the sun is starting its big opposition to Neptune because over the next 24 hours, we're about to have this opposition, which is a sun in Virgo, right? That wants to know the details, feel the reality, you know, get down to the nitty gritty of things and feel it all physically. But it's making an opposition to Neptune, which wants to leave reality and peace out and kind of like drift off in the ether. And here's this big opposition. You know, in order to get your reality together, you've got to check in with the other side. If you're going to check in with the other side, make sure you don't get caught up too long there. You've got to come back down to reality. This is another balanced kind of energy. And I think it's interesting that we have the moon in Libra for this transit for the next 24 hours. So I think there's a need for us to find harmony, to find balance, to kind of, you know, you know, check in with what spirit says, but also do the work on the physical reality. Take a moment to chill out, but get back to taking action. Take a moment to get on your purpose, but make sure that you're not overdoing it and climbing the mountain without a chill break. There's a need for Zen in the middle of it all, the perfect kind of energy. And that's not that easy because remember, we have Mars and Saturn, which have been in Scorpio, which there is no such thing as gray or middle ground here. It's white or black, it's intense or not, it's yes or no, it's, <laughs> You guys know what I like to say. It's orgasm or no orgasm, or it's, you know, it's, it, it's, it's very intense. But we're gonna see now Mars start to come off of Saturn. And this is a very clear energy of Mars getting ready to move forward, not many blocks. On top of that, we're having Venus, which is coming off this big square to both those planets in Leo. So there's a, a positive energy starting to come out and yearn uh, for more of a party, more of a positive and aspect. And we have Jupiter here in Leo. We still are having to look at when it comes to our values, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to projects, finding our inner happiness, finding our inner love, all in a time of really harvesting our matrix, looking at the details, making the adjustments in our life. This is Virgo. It's getting down to the nitty gritty and checking in if you're very aware of the reality you're manifesting and if it should be on spiritual path or not. This is a big check from the universe here. The checkpoint coming in isn't one of a block, but it is one of, I'm trying to think of a cool analogy for this one, but, uh, and, and this is what I got. Here in California, we've got these toll roads. And 
you know, we have a little beeper that checks in to, to do the toll. We don't have to pay the toll like on the East Coast, like with cash. We literally have digital things that pull off, it off your card when it's invisible. And there's a sense that as we're coming through these universal spiritual checkpoints in our reality, the universe is making sure that we're, you know, deducting from a higher spiritual purpose and a spiritual bank of what we must identify with from our purpose and more importantly, where we're going or if we're starting to go maybe off course and we're drifting off in the wrong direction and maybe we're pulling from an energy that's not right. Maybe we're trying to go through roads that we don't have spiritual tabs or tolls to pay on and you're gonna go on that road and there will be a, te a debt. I don't know where I'm getting this, but you know what, it actually makes a lot of sense to me that this is a time where we wanna stay on track. The energy's opening up again, Mars coming off Saturn, there's gonna to be some big hoo-ha energy coming in, boom, boom, moving forward. And you're gonna to need to start to really check in with spirit and be aligned here and feel called here. Calling is part of it. Mercury's doing well in Virgo in a really good spot, but I will be real again. I've been having the weirdest technology stuff happen, especially in the internet. I've been having some really weird communication stuff, even in my own like thought patterns and brain. Maybe this is because it is happening in my own chart of the mind. But it, it's interesting to just see right now Mercury in such a powerful position. But in Virgo, Mercury really does feel every little nook and cranny. The scanners are scanning everything. And so in our life, we're picking up every little detail. And we're making sure that it's all in alignment with what it is the life we want and where it's going in the correct direction. And the North Node is starting to get real deep into Libra here, which is looking at our connections. And today we'll highlight this. You know, do we emotionally get pulled into connections that might not be taking us in the right direction or aren't part of our purpose? And I think that will be highlighted today. And it also will be highlighted if you can find peace in all of these energies all at the same time. And what is the card of the day? The card of the day is the temperance card. This is a great card. It's so funny that I brought up the balance and needing to find this in the Zen. This is a card of Zen that the universal time is working. And I feel that this is a big prep point because there's some big volcanoes about to burst. The universe has been aligning things for these big spiritual moments to happen. And today's a day that we're in the middle of the groove of things starting to take us in that direction. Check out my website, inclusiveastrology.com. If you have any questions or if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one reading, thank you so much for all your support. And I will see you for the weekend forecast tomorrow.